When I first got my Poly D, it didn't really make any sound. And I saw a review saying, oh yeah, it was a faulty unit, didn't make any sound. So that person returned it. Maybe it was a faulty unit. It, it probably was a faulty unit. However, I wanted to go in detail how to like actually get a sound on this thing because there are quite a few things you have to adjust. So the first thing I should know, if you're wanting to buy a synthesizer, you have to remember that synthesizers almost always do not have output sound. They only output a signal. There's no speakers on it, so it can't output a sound. And so what you need to do is either use headphones, so that's why there's a headphone jack here, or output it back here using these quarter inch instrument cables. Now this output can either go straight to speakers, or if you want to record it in your computer, you're going to need an audio interface. I recommend the Focusrite 2i2. I absolutely love it. And also, it gives you Ableton Live Lite, which will allow you to record your synthesizers and whatever. So after you have all of that Ableton stuff, or whatever doll you're using, I'm not going to go into that. You can search it up somewhere else. If we play a note, it's not going to make any sound. First, we have to turn the volume up. Now, there's volume and headphones. These are two different things. Headphones are just for this headphone jack, and volume is just for the output. So my volume knob is turned to 7, and if we play it, you'll hear this like popping noise. So that's good that the sound is working, but we don't really hear anything. So there's quite a few things that you have to turn on and we have to go through. First of all, let's start on this side. So right now our oscillators are at the lowest frequencies, so you can barely hear them. They're gonna be going really slowly, so you're not gonna be able to hear them. So I would turn them up. It doesn't really matter what you turn it to, but yes, I would turn it up to maybe about 16 or 8 or something. Next, you're going to want to actually turn the oscillators on because all of these are off. So we're going to turn them on like that. And then all the volumes are also at zero. So we're going to have to turn them up. I'm just going to do it all the way. And even after all of that, we still get the same sound. So now let's move to this section right here. So first of all, we have the cutoff frequency. Right now it's cutting off at 20 hertz, which is just the very bottom of human hearing. So if we want to go more into like what we can hear, we would turn it up. But still, it makes no sound. And that's where these three, attack, decay, and sustain, come in. So right now what's happening is, the note is instantly starting. When we play it, it plays the note all the way to the sustain level. Problem is sustain is at zero. So if we turn sustain up, we can hear it. It's still pretty quiet though. Uh, that's because we're on triangle wave. So it's more of a pure tone. So if we want more like loud, louder harmonics or whatever, we could try like sol or square or whatever. And then... And it is snapping a little bit. That's just because the attack and decay is not, it's basically not. And there you go. That was quite a few things to turn on, but we finally got the thing to work. I hope this helped and I'll see you in my next video.